you know, if you really want me to do Eden. <laughs> Alright, close enough. Four Souls does feel like Isaac. I'll do four bongs. Okay. I, ac I accept your trade. Ah. Uh, what's up with mouth? Oh, it's... Oh, jeez. Okay. It's got the tomato. It's a pretty fun item. You know, this... this if I, get, if I get lucky, this is potentially going to be game-changing against Dogma. Huh? Okay. Tomate TV. Yep, that's the hope. Oh, okay. Alright, bonk number two. Halfway there. Um, wait, this butter is really bad, right? Yeah, it does that. Okay. Um, okay, music is just losing its mind. Alright, bonk number three. Yeah, th this, looking at this as soon as I spawned in, a little bit confusing. Um, health situation, pretty good, actually. I, I quite like that, uh, that loadout for health. Fool card, I'm gonna immediately drop butter. Okay. Um, set, I mean, damage is really bad. Uh, this is this is not this is not fantastic by any means. Uh, mediocre starting item. Uh, starting item. Well, uh, the tomato I think could be could be interesting. And there we go. Okay, your debt has been paid, Cyber. Good good work. Good work, soldier. Um, the 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 stump I don't find much value in it unless we get some, you know, like a, a cube of meat, some melee weapons. Uh, 120 volt, you know, anything like that. But as it is right now, it's uh, it's just an item to avoid taking damage briefly. Um, other than that, I guess I could tomato some enemies and then just turn invincible while they fight each other. Um, you know, that's that's possible. Although these guys don't seem interested in doing fucking anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was a bit anticlimactic. Okay. I mean, this this damage is just so bad. Average, pretty average tier, right? Maybe a bit above average, but very below average damage. B bonk interest. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate your commitment to the, uh, to the pennies economy around here. Truly, truly above and beyond. Uh, no, I still haven't found my treasure room item either. Of course, it's all the way up there in the path I didn't take. Man, I need some damage ups badly. Very badly. Uh, two bombs, eight pennies, that's not too bad. I could pick up a shop item, but, uh... Uh... <laughs> I mean, soul converter, maybe, but I'm not really at a point where I feel like, uh... I feel like I'm willing to pick that up. It's shoot each other to death. That's nice. More bombs. Um. Ryu has told me this is a very good item now. Um. I don't know what was changed about it. <clears throat> I certainly will take it over the stump. Remember Immortal Hearts from Annie Birth? I kind of missed those. I never really played Annie Birth. I, do, I did a lot of reading about Annie Birth's content. Um. I... I saw the Immortal Hearts again recently, but I don't remember exactly what they did. It was it was like uh, it was like some sort of extra health heart, or it was like a heart with extra health, or it was like refillable or something, right? Uh, that was unfortunate. I shouldn't. Eat. All right, hopefully I don't get screwed in my treasure room next next floor. <clears throat> um. Okay, so it leaves my head in place. I get a bunch of extra projectiles. Uh, this, this is... Or no, I think he said it was the, the plinking se the plinking shears that he had said was pretty good now. I mean, I assume that the head doesn't take damage, right? I mean, that would just be ridiculous. Yeah, okay. Um, I mean, this is, <laughs> this is interesting. It just gives you, like, a huge shotgun spray that fires really fast. Oh, the stream of projectiles didn't used to be controllable. Okay. Interesting. 
Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. I mean, that's a pretty solid. Uh, even with the shitty st shitty damage we got here, that's actually pretty decent damage output on that. Um, that's interesting. Okay. All right. Not too bad. Full room charge as well. It's not terrible. <laughs> Mortal Hearts were full, or were white, full spirit heart like hearts. They only take a half of damage at a time and regenerate to full at the end of each. At the end of each room, yeah, that's that's actually. I mean, obviously, I imagine they were like exceedingly rare. Um, but even still, that's that's like a that's crazy. Guaranteed half heart and uh, regen after every single room. That's so good. It, it would be nice if they introduced something, you know, some uh, maybe a little more balanced. Um, maybe, you know, maybe recharge every... Some amount of rooms, or... Um, uh, even once a floor, I don't know. Maybe once a floor would be a little too bad, but... Obviously, on a trinket, it, uh, that kind of effect is too weak. But on just, like, a heart container that you have just constantly, um, I feel like that could be reasonable. So bad. So fucking bad. <laughs> My god. Oh, the damage is so bad. Okay, a lot of things that I'd like to uh, use keys on and no keys to use them. Use on them. Um, okay. I'm gonna pray. Nice. So Burrow and a couple angel rooms will give you one immortal heart. They now give eternal hearts instead. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I'm, but yeah, that... Oh, a key? Okay, okay. Uh, can I buy a key too? No. Rip. Um, I'll buy the soul heart though. I guess I should get the, the treasure room. I guess I should get the treasure room. What is it, like a third a third charge and third charge and I can actually shoot it? Alright. I've been seeing a lot of this lately. The more I think of it, the it's fair they left him out, yeah. Definitely definitely too strong as they were. Um it would have been nice if they you know were able to rebalance them or something, but you know, that's fine. Um oh and I got another key at some point and then I didn't even notice, so alright, library time. Um yeah, none of these are really worth it. I think I'm gonna keep the scissors. Ding. Bookworm, of course. <coughs> Alright, looking good. Yeah, damage output is... or damage... It's still pretty low, but uh, having tech X certainly <laughs> certainly mitigates some of that. And of course, it makes probably makes it a little more consistent to actually get the the tomato effect off, just because it you know has a chance of happening every every tick every tick of damage. Um, I gotta see what this is like. Okay, so you still get the 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 tears from this, and you can shoot the tech X. Okay, that's kind of what I figured. That's really good, actually. That's really good. Every dick of damage. It is! It is that. Yeah, def definitely still could use some more... Just... Just actual damage. But, uh... Yeah, Tech X is, uh... Is, gonna, is, is already putting in some work here. Right, key situation is pretty okay now. Alright. Things things are looking pretty good here. Oh. Um. Okay. I accept. I accept your flute. The scissors aren't that crazy. I mean, if I left Book of Belial for the flute, I'm certainly gonna leave the scissors for the flute. Huh. Give me a rotten heart, too. That's nice of you. What do you got here? Um. 
Guess I'll take the hairball. I'm not crazy about it as an item. I'd like to take the eye thing, but um, I kind of can't. Take Eye of Belial. I, the thing is, I think if I use the Strength card... Um, let me actually see what happens if I do take the Strength card. Or use the Strength card. Ah. Now that I think I like. Okay. I don't know how exactly this even works with Tech X, but I'm curious enough that I'm willing to, to try it out here. I'm not sure if it actually does anything, to be honest. Um, I guess we'll find out. Or we won't. Worst case scenario. Uh, okay. That's decent. Dice room. See, rooms like this, it really helps to get the tomato off, because then you can get these stupid enemies just shooting at each other instead of shooting at me. Which is pretty huge when you got when that enemy is involved. Uh, yeah, kill each other. And yeah, nice. Okay, I'm starting to think I have Lyle actually does nothing. So that was uh that's a little unfortunate. Uh, is that B A B F? Yeah. Alright. More more friends. This one's a bit of a dangerous friend, but, you know, we, we still like it all the same until it blows us up, and then we and then we don't really like it anymore, but, you know, that's okay. Can't, can't win them all. Um, maybe. Yep, taking blue map, taking the soul heart. We sent key, actually, I'm, I'm buying the whole, I'm, I'll take the lot. Thanks. <clears throat> okay. Sick. Sick and balls. That bomb paid for itself. Thank you. <laughs> um. Goodbye, BBF. I'll miss you. There's the little bird. I don't remember when it spawns, or why particularly, but... It's, um, why did... okay. Just... huh? It's really having a hard time hitting that guy, okay. <laughs> really a tough time there. We like that. Okay. Manageable. Trinkets lying around yet? No, I don't think so. I don't think I've missed any. Oh, I, actually, the butter on floor one I could have left. Okay. No. Oh. Messed that one up, but it's probably fine. We still got plenty of time to get another one. <clears throat> it's not like this is a crazy trinket, so, you know, if I have to, I can certainly leave this one behind as well. Uh, let me just do the boss. Uh. Okay. My friends did all the work. You'd love to see that. Um with four keys, I'm gonna I'm gonna check the dice room here. <clears throat> I'll check it. range of effects you can get on these, but... Okay, that's a D100. That's gonna reroll my build, and literally everything. Um, I have Tech X, man. I don't really think I want to do that. Uh, why did that do nothing? Two of spades. That should have doubled my keys. Uh, low. Uh 
Okay. Not sure what happened there. I uh, I guess I'm guess I'm just moving on. Maybe they change it so the two of spades uh, just sets your key count to two. It, it makes it so that it is two instead of doubling it. Certainly an interest. Certainly would be an interesting change. I'll give them that. <laughs> not, not really what I had in mind. Um. All right. Anyway. Oh, jeez, this garbage again. Oof, that was close. Okay. Oh, really? Uh, right, now we're looking a little light on bombs. Oh, that's probably going to be worth it to go in there. Uh, Still could use some damage ups here, man. Hmm. Okay. Um, this is the ones that explode. Actually, I don't want that. I'm I'm gonna leave. Uh, I'm gonna leave Locust to war in the boss room. I don't really want to deal with that shit. Consumable count has been very low this run. Alright. 72% chance of devil deal. I like that odd. I like those odds. Super secret. Um, or or not, huh? Okay. I, I'm not going to use my last bomb to get in. I don't know why that didn't work. <laughs> swore that should have been lined up correctly. Oh, okay. Didn't see it because of all the other carnage going on. That's fine. Um, oh, okay. Don't know if that really does a whole lot for me, honestly. No devil deal, despite very good odds. The change to tech X is pretty wise, I feel. What did they? What did they change exactly? I wasn't aware there were any. There were really any changes to tech X. There used to be little to no reason to charge it. Oh, what did they what did they do to incentivize charging it? Um, I'm gonna check this also. Yeah. Okay. Bit of a bust. More tomatoes. Tomato lasers. That does less damage with less charge. Okay. I guess that makes sense. I wonder how much of a damage difference it is. So I, I imagine it's is it is it more worth damage wise to actually charge it now or I, I still feel like some situations uh, it could be still more worth it to do the the short charges. But yeah, I don't oh um is this a retexture? I think it is. I think this is the one that like leaves a explodable barrel, right? Uh, I guess they uh, made the texture, the, the the art look a little bit better. <laughs> Alright, let me 
plop that over here then. So where is the... Where is the door then? Where is it here? It's like right before the screen starts scrolling up. Maybe it's like here then? Oh, that looks different too. That's nice. Yeah, there it is, okay. So it's just slightly off and it was enough that it just... It's just barely not close enough. Okay. Interesting, certainly still not, you know. I like the uh, the design change, but uh, still not particularly a good item. Good for finding secret rooms and stuff, but uh, I feel like that's really about it. Alright, honestly, I think I'm just gonna... Well... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go. I have much else to gain from full clearing. Alright. So we have to get a devil deal on the next floor, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. Well, that's something at least. Ah. Okay. BBF caused me to take damage, but not in a way I ever would have expected. Almost just blew me up there as well. Classic stuff. Absolutely classic BBF. Took out a couple of them there, though. That was nice. Thank you. I wonder if the statues shoot tomato at enemies. Statues actually aren't doing anything. Oh. Huh. So the to if an enemy's tomato, the statues just st just stop shooting entirely. I guess. <laughs> All right. That's uh, that's certainly interesting. Can't say I expected that one. All right. Health and damage, classic. First damage up I've gotten all around. <laughs> God, dude, B BBF really does some some serious damage. It obviously comes with some risk to you. Wow, really? I, I could just leave. I already have everything I needed. <laughs> Insane. What a crazy! It's like the most optimal floor layout you could have possibly gotten. Absolute destruction of the boss, too. Jeez. Good shit. Alright, what do you got for me? I, can't, I was really hoping for not a deal like that. I, I don't really think I could take either of those. I don't even know if either of them would work. Scythe would probably still give me a damage up, but that's, that's too much health. That's too much health for my liking. I'd like to at least check super secret, so I'm not I'm not gonna peel out right away. Like if you're doing speed running and you got a floor like this, I feel like you'd be ec ec ecstatic. with each other. Nice. <laughs> Alright. Rune, but I'm not going to take damage to get it, so not worth <gasps> Did I leave that trinket? so much. Um, I, I feel like I forgot to do the trinket. Oh, sick room. 
Ah. Uh, I guess it actually was a pretty okay room. Um. Well, again, I mean, worst case, worst case, I have a trinket and I don't really mind losing it. Um, but I am gonna wait until um. I'm just gonna leave. I think. Uh, I'm gonna wait until mausoleum. To, to for sure get rid of this one, because hopefully I'll come across another one on the next floor. <sighs> okay. Alright, so we gotta find a rock, or our, our skull here. Charge, baby. Oof. Bandage ball might have taken that one for me. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Right. I'm getting I'm getting an assist in this room. Okay, too late. I deserve damage. Fucked up day. Huh? I don't even know what hit me there. Okay. Why is that guy so big? Is he double explosive? I think he is. Explosive champion of an enemy that already explodes. Sick. Interesting room. I had a bomb, I would blow up a bunch of those skulls. Ah. Thanks. It's more like it. Just a room with a free crawl space in it? That's certainly different. Alright, got an Alch's rune. Probably not really going to be able to make much use of it, though. I feel like crawl spaces are way better now, by the way. <laughs> I've yet to see a crawl space that didn't have... And I think almost all of them have had pedestal items in them. I think there was one that had a trinket in it. And it was I think it was Jawbreaker or something, which was honestly a pretty decent trinket, too. Um, uh, waiting for an opening. Okay. Um, yeah, it seems like crawl spaces are way better than they used to be. Um, what is that, D6? Uh, okay, uh, although it, I don't think it's global effect, so I don't know if it'll actually re-roll like treasure room and shops and stuff, but I guess we'll find out. I'll certainly give it a, give it a go. Job working. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's like a lesser version of Tough Love, but I mean, Tough Love is quite a good item, so, um, you know, it's a pretty good trinket. Uh, oh my god, I hate this enemy. Okay. Wow, that was close. Maybe one guess as to what it reminds me of. I, it certainly reminds me of Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I like e easily, as soon as I see it, I was like, yeah, that's. That's cl classic Ed and Eddie stuff right there. Obelisk. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Okay, here's a really shitty trinket. Um, so I guess I'll take this one into the boss room with me. I'll leave it in there and then I'll uh, and then I'll fool out. Bingo! Yeah. <laughs> Def. I mean, that's you know. Especially the the size, the apparent size of it, based on you know how big Isaac is, is it, that's a that's about the size of the Jawbreakers in Ed, in Ed, Ed and Eddie. So the times they got, dude, I loved Ed, Ed and Eddie. That was that was one of my f favorite shows when I was younger. I still I I not that I've watched a lot of it recently, but I I feel like that that show has probably held up pretty well too. I I think I would still find it, because I mean a lot of the humor is just like. 
just like random random shit mostly i don't know i i, I think that would still it would still be pretty funny to watch even now <clears throat> okay. a lot of money everything's half off but not really much worth buying here uh, so donate actually for some luck I don't know how many pennies it is to don't to, for luck. There we go. I, I just dump coins in until something happens. Uh, Alright. Uh, oh. I feel like this is an identical layout to another room that doesn't have any enemies in it. <laughs> and then they just make that one that just has a needle in it. That's fucked up, man. They're really they're really trying to get you there. Oh, free X rock breaking, thank you. Uh, the stomp happened when none of her was available. That's unfortunate. Still waiting for BBF to go off. Okay, there we go. Good. Very nice damage there. Ah, the double hand. Oh, BBF comes back in the same room. I didn't even remember that. That's sick. I, I'm, I'm, I very well might be the same as it's always been. I just never really noticed it. Outmaneuvering me. There we go. Okay, so many good quotes. I found a lot of new life in me. Yeah, I feel like a, I feel like a lot of. I mean, like SpongeBob is basically kept permanently alive because of how many. Thank you, Angelina. How many like just classic, super memorable memes come from it? Away with you. I assume that's Ralph saying that. Protur protuberance of the flesh. I, I, I assume it's Ralph. Ralph had just so many funny quotes like that. Just the cr the craziest shit. Uh, range, sure. Um. All right. So, oh, I didn't leave the trinket again. Okay. That's fine, I'll leave it in the treasure room. I'll just have to make sure I actually, uh, actually find it. Depths 2, treasure room. Ralph is the best, I know. He's so good. I had such a great show. One of these days I gotta go back and, uh, watch some of it just for old time's sake. Um, alright. Yeah, I guess I'm, uh... To go here. Certainly not the craziest build by any means, but uh, we should at least be able to get our character unlocked with this. I, I don't know if we'll be able to beat Beast. But, uh, okay, so we have like six hearts, I think. One red, five, five soul. If I recall. I'm just trying to keep that in mind. Um... I assume this is a not very interesting effect, but let me just check. Chance for enemies to burn when entering a room? Huh. Okay. Uh, what's the name of this? What's the, uh, I don't remember the name of this. I, I want to check the trinket I already have just to see if it's... There we go. Bird foot. If you kill an enemy, you have a chance to spawn a transparent dead bird. Uh... When you kill an enemy. Okay, that's gonna be... Well, I guess they're both kind of worthless in the boss fights, but... One the po the One hour after 9-11. Oh, God. How's that possible? I guess the 9-11 jokes really are coming back, huh? It's not cyber. After years, years of dormancy, making a resurgence, huh? Um, 
yeah, I mean, I, I, okay, I was hoping I wasn't gonna get hit twice in that room, but. Okay, so I have, like, uh, four soul hearts now, I think. It's also a fair bit of fourth wall humor in jokes and even some risque things that slip. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like that that happened a lot back then. There were there were tons of shows that got away with a Oh, God. I am astonished I didn't get hit there. We had all sorts of shows getting... Just slipping just some of the craziest shit past censors, I feel like. Plenty of earlier SpongeBob, too. There's, there's, there's a lot of... There was a lot of that going around at the time. It makes the shows a lot more enjoyable to rewatch as an as an adult. I feel like just seeing some of the insane stuff that they got away with that you know we, you really never thought about or even could have known about when we were younger. What the? Okay, charmed homing beast was really weird. <laughs> it's entertaining no matter the age. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Angelina, for the three bits. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. I think I had an Emperor card that I probably could have taken uh, before I left on the last floor. Oh well. Emperor card always seems tempting here, but at the same time, there is still treasure room and shop that are... Uh-oh. Um, okay. That are really kind of worth getting, so... It's a, it's a mixed bag whether or not you actually want to go through with it. Oh, okay, that... The spider is my friend, apparently. There's one scene near the end, which Ed says, exit right and fade to black, and that's how the scene ends. That's... It's nice. <laughs> Just to make sure. Um, I don't remember that one either. She does have a stronger knockback. Uh, it also doesn't do a whole lot. Okay. So, so far, dead. The, the bird foot here is about the most useful of the trinkets that I've seen so far, but they're all very mild effects. Ranging from very mild to actually just worthless. <clears throat> okay. Treasure room. I'm gonna take damage in this room, probably. Ooh. Okay. Surprisingly not. Um, well that's useless. Or go. Don't remember what that does, but I think it gives health. At, l at least at least a little bit of health. Okay, so here's another run where I get one one of the th one of three that I need for uh for planetariums, I guess. <laughs> God damn it, dude. It feels like I'm never gonna unlock those fucking things. I also feel like planetariums are a lot easier to unlock when you just started the game, because, you know, you have... I think all 14 of the items unlocked, and you have a lot less other shit unlocked, so... Another example is a long-winded, verbose, tired, double-D, Eddie Rex. <laughs> Who writes this guy's stuff? That's so good. Literally calling out the actual people who wrote the dialogue. <laughs> you really do love to see it. Interesting, okay. Alright, so I, I just need to uh, get the treasure room on the next floor. Um, it should be in there. Um, okay. I, I really got to give that show a rewatch, man. So much, so much good, so much good material in there. Absolutely timeless. All right. <laughs> okay. I'll take the soul hearts. Okay, they're shooting each other. Nice. Sick. He's self-destructive and disturbed just like his father. 
So this is another one where I feel like I'm... If if I'm able to beat the beast, it's it's going to be an endurance match. Um, I only got like one damage up the whole run, so it's... Uh, it's a little lacking. Um, I'll be able to get some plums. Not as much as... Not as much as uh, as the last time we we brought Plum down to down to the uh, to the beast. Oh well, that certainly helps. For point in the planetarium, starting a new save is worth it. See, yeah, I think. Interestingly enough, Edmund for a while I thought he was recommending people to start new, um, but near the end he started to actually recommend uh, starting on your completed save just so you can jump straight into like the. Uh, you know, the content with the, the new paths with Mother and, um, um, and this, obviously. I mean, this is all very late game content, so. I, I can, I can see why. I can see why he, uh, he switched up, switched up his recommendation. Um, I mean, for me, this is, this is, at this point, this is a pretty long-running series, so. Um, I, I certainly made more sense for me to just pick right back up where I, where I left off. He says, stuck grinding old stuff, yeah. Damn, you still here? Yeah, I decided to stream a little bit later tonight. Power through. Oh, sh. Oh, goddamn. Power through an extra run here. Um, Alright, like I said, I mean, like I said, health situation is pretty good. Um, quite good. But. Damage is weak. So we're we're and speed isn't that good either. Speed actually is a pretty big factor in performance against the final boss. So one more fourth wall trick. Remember that one time we did that prank? Didn't we win an award for that episode? Oh my god, I don't even remember that one. <laughs> That's nice. I bet they did too. The show is genius. Huh. Okay. World. Yeah, sure. Okay, it's probably over here then. Nope, actually not. Okay, I'm leaving this room. Not a chance. I know it's not going to be in either of the two rooms connected to that, so it's... Oh, okay. It's either here or the room above this one. I actually think this is worth taking... The body is, well, the head is not really going to be super useful, I don't think. Well, actually, maybe. I, I actually think this is a really good take here for the, for the beast. Um, although, I'll take this with me for the rest of this floor. Because um, I suspect, yeah, I suspect this room might be a little stupid. Um, double husk actually is not that bad. Especially in a big room with plenty of room to maneuver. This is actually kind of fine. Look who's back, old Sizzo. Yeah, I think uh, Plum has definitely served us well, but I think I think for for best results here, we're gonna we're gonna want the scissors. The gauze, another soul heart. I indicate what Terraria thing to draw. What about um um yeah, very funny. Uh, how about how about um. Uh, Moonloid's legs. Just, re just a really, just a really nice detailed drawing of Moonloid's legs. How about that? Or yeah, you know, or just Moonloid. If you, if you'd like to draw the rest of Moonloid attached to the legs, you know that's certainly fine too. Um. Oh, God damn it. Plantera. That's another. That's another good choice. Pro probably a better choice, but uh. Yeah, I mean you got you got to show some love for Moonlord's legs, you know. Okay. Goodbye, Plum. It's been an honor. May we meet again. Have you watched the series finale? Um, movie. I think I did. It was a while ago. Goodbye, friend. All right. I think these scissors will, will help us a fair bit in the f uh, throughout the course of the final boss. 
So if you put tomato and charm on an enemy, does it become suicidal? That's a great question. It just starts attacking itself. I want to draw my character, but alas, I do not have one. Well, you can make you can make one. It's another idea. Try and work out uh, work out some sort of interesting design or something. I don't know. See that enemy since it's multiple enemies, you um, uh oh, you tomato you tomato part of it, and then the entire thing just starts attacking the other segments. So that was kind of cool, actually. I also don't know if, um, <clears throat> I kind of doubt that scissor usage is going to transfer from dogma to beast, so I'll probably try, what? Oh my god. I'll probably try and save scissors for, um, oh sick, the stump. Um, probably try and save it for just the beast and just not use it in there at all. I just want to go and tear it out of you and get a bunch of vanity shit. But I want to get the achievements myself. Oh, for Chara? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm like one achievement away, I think, from 100% in that game. But uh, it's just a tedious achievement left, so I, I just haven't gotten around to getting it yet. <laughs> Alright. Pretty decent run. Well, that movie wraps everything up so well. Has one hell of an opening, though. Yeah, I, at the very least, I, I gotta watch the movie again. Because I, like, I feel like I don't remember it terribly well. Okay, that could actually be nice. That'll let me void um, whatever mom item we get, since most likely it's going to be crappy. Let's do this. Okay, we just got uh, that challenge. <laughs> I think that's challenge 45, the one that everyone's been talking about. Ah. Uh, Talk of the town, yeah, sure is. Knife plus tech X. Can it can anyone confirm what this synergy looks like? Or if this is a good idea to take or not? <laughs> um, I actually have no idea. If you're on a rush, definitely go in order and end with the movie, it'll be great. Yeah. I, I'm I honestly might do that sometime. Just a just a nice something nice to rewatch. Knife X. Let let me see if it's on the wiki yet. I imagine there's a lot of synergies that haven't been noted yet, but this is this is a pretty big synergy. Uh, Mom's knife simultaneously fires the knife and laser rings. <laughs> okay. So you literally just get both. That's actually quite unusual. Okay. I've been lied to. Ooh. Thank you, Angelina. I was, that's quite quite accurate, actually. I actually got tricked by the wiki. <laughs> okay. Um, this is probably worse now, uh, if I if I had to guess. All right. Um. That's actually very unfortunate. This is much harder to use than Tech X. Uh, this is why teachers tell you to not use Wikipedia as a reliable source. Wow. I guess so. I just like to liven up the stream to keep things light. Yeah, yeah, I, I appreciate it. Thank you for the four bits as well. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay. Well, I think this will be a little bit trickier now, but... Please stop doing that. Okay. Damage is honestly pretty good, actually. I think. So that that's good, at least. Um, please be tomatoed when I break it. Okay. So I think this thing will now be targeting the TV, which means... Yep. Makes this a little bit more consistent to dodge. Do I actually even have to move? Yeah, okay, I think I do. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, tom Tomato TV is back. Where did I get this shield from? Not sure if I'm certainly going to take advantage of it. Okay. Um, okay. That was a lot. Tomato? Yep. That's so interesting that it's just permanently tomatoed once it breaks. Oh, I heard I heard the fly go do its thing again. It still comes from different angles sometimes, but it just always goes through the center because it's trying to hit the TV. Alright. So what's exactly is gonna happen here? I'm just gonna put it center. Yeah, okay. I don't think it does anything. The head, I mean. But, um... Okay. It is nice that I have knife, but I still have, like, projectiles, too, at least. Okay. Yeah, da damage output, honestly, is better than I thought it was gonna be. I guess it is still the knife, after all, but... I, I looked at my damage number, and it just looked very low. But, um... This is this is pretty good. I wonder what happens if I use it again. I guess we'll find out. I mean, after after this guy, I should be able to. Oh. Okay. okay. I do think it'll be it'll be a little bit trickier to get this close to the beast, you know, for for quick stabs. Um, compared to getting closer to the horseman, but... Invincibility was from Virgo? Oh, okay, 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 right. At least another head. What do, what do the heads do? Do they, like, block projectiles or something? Oh, shit. It looks like they do. Or not. I don't actually know what the floating heads do. Um, they appear to just be sitting there doing nothing. Okay, Virgo shield. That's a long shield, too. It's like... What, five seconds, at least? It's very good. Head just sitting there being absolutely useless. Yeah, we, we got the double head. Are, is, are the heads supposed to do something? I, I'm wondering if the... The side the side view is making them not function correctly. Um, I, just, I only used this item, like, once... Before now, so I don't really remember. Stab, stab. Like a little too close, a little too greedy. Okay. We're definitely fine here, though. I didn't even think of the fact that since you can get any mom item, you can literally just get mom's knife at the very end of the run and potentially potentially just be cruising if you got there with a pretty mediocre build. We got the triple ascended head here, guys. I don't know how we could lose this. I'm gonna get closer. Quicker stabs. Closer, closer. Oh, okay, two. Um. Okay. I Do I actually not have enough speed to outrun this? Okay. That was really weird. I, I don't actually know what was going on there. That was kind of scary. I, if I didn't get the shield, I probably would have just died. <laughs> um. I just don't know what it was. Okay. Alright, I think we're on the final run here now. Play a little more safe here, but I mean, the the, uh, the damage output is just very solid right now. Yeah. It's like three stabs and we go to the next damage stage. That means... Should be just about dead here. Bing! The triple head! Alright. The everything jar. Alright, good shit, man. We just unlocked, like, four more Tainted characters. Let's see. Kane, Judas... Ah, uh, three more. And e Eden. Ever-changing. Still uses Eden tokens. Let's take a quick look. Oh, uh, yeah, it was three three things, but we had to do a fourth run because uh, we got screwed over with Kane. Or we got screwed over with Judas. Okay. 
Ever changing. Does that mean like every floor it's randomized or haven't noticed anything changing yet? Look at secrets, huh? Hmm. It's kinda nice actually, let me try that. I mostly just want to get to the next floor to see when exactly things change. But I I imagine it's I was thinking it could have it could be every room, but obviously that wasn't the case, so maybe every floor. Might be something else that causes a change? Hmm. I suppose so. I just I guess I'm not sure why I don't really see any funny mechanics here. So far it seems pretty standard Eden, random stats, random passive, random active. Um, nothing particularly out of the ordinary so far. Wish I had a bomb, but unfortunately no such luck. I think this book can actually reveal the location of the ultra secret room, but I might be wrong on that. I, I really don't remember what what of the, what few items in the game interact with the. Uh, oh, that's just rude. Actually, interact with the the ultra secret room. Um, ah, that's what it is on damage. Okay. Alright, that's different. So does this... Yep, just that just instantly changed because it damages me. Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, once a, fl once a floor isn't really that interesting, you know? So I was like, okay, it's, it's either that or it's some other interesting trigger. Okay, so literally every time you take damage, it, it scrambles your build. Um. Even down- oh no, because it- I had an- I had an item that was giving me health, so it, it re-rolled that, okay. It does re-roll your stats, it doesn't appear to re-roll your health. Um. Drinking straw. Bra. Boom. So now you can see why you can't breakfast anymore. Yeah, this probably is the reason why they changed that, huh? Bing! Uh, cause yeah, you- you could very easily just f just blow through the entire item pool in the entire game. Straight up, I think this is the only reason they did that. Hey, it, it was a good change in the end, certainly. But, yeah, I... Where did I get that soul heart from? Anyway. Um, yeah, the, I mean, this is a pretty major reason why they would do that. Yeah, this entire character's gimmick wouldn't really work in the long run. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though, man. That's pretty cool. Alright. So, still got a left. So, what? Six, six characters in? It would have been easier to count the ones I had than the ones I didn't. But anyway. We got uh, 11, 11 tainted characters left to unlock here. 